Things like this can be dangerous. Things like this push you further away from actually doing what you want, which is getting to the person that God has for you. Hey you guys, it's your girl Ivy, also known now as IFO, if you know then you know, and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be giving you an update on the growing in popularity video, which is how I manifested my dream man, and also just highlighting what manifesting your dream partner is not. So in that last video, which it's coming up on two years since I made that video. In that last video, I gave you a story time of how I met my quote unquote dream man and I gave a few tips in regards to how you could potentially manifest your dream partner. And I can tell you where I'm at now. I've gotten a few questions regarding what that relationship looks like, if it still exists. And I can tell you, if you've been keeping up with me, then you know, I said in that video, I felt like he was my husband and now he's literally my husband. <laughs> so yeah, um, I thank God, giving all the glory to God because I definitely felt like this was a divine union between the two of us. And now we are three years into our relationship. We are one year married and we also have a one-year-old so life has been lifing life has been lifing in these past few years and i'm so thankful so that's the update y'all yes yeah, some of y'all been asking but did you marry him is that your man you know is that who you talked about in your manifestation video yes he is he's here he's still the love of my life I'm still so thankful and in awe for the amazing human being that God blessed me with as my partner, my husband, my partner in parentship. Okay, so that is my update. Hubby has to get in the shower since once again, he's going out. So I'm gonna finish my skincare routine and I will come back to you guys in a little while, probably in another setting. Hey babes, so I am back as promised, once again, just in another setting. And I'm going to continue with things that I feel manifesting your dream partner should not look like. One, painting a specific picture of what they look like is not a good way to manifest your dream partner because once again, just as God is listening and knows the desires of your heart, the devil does as well. And he could very easily send in the person that is picture perfect, that is not there to be equally yoked with you. Someone who's essentially not God sent but because they look like the perfect package, you find yourself involved with them or even thinking that this is the person that God sent for you and it can create a lot of destruction. So I feel like it's not a good idea to paint that specific picture, number one. Number two, I don't think it's a good idea to dabble into witchcraft, like I said. I know that sounds far-fetched for some people, but for those who do believe in those kinds of things and who have considered doing anything of that sort i just highly go against that and suggest avoiding doing anything like if you see someone that may have the look that you think may have the qualities that you would want in a person do not try to do things to conjure them to bring them into your life to make them your person anytime you find yourself having to control a situation twist or manipulate a situation or a person to be yours, that is a good indicator that they're not for you. And you may need to go back to that first tip that I gave in my manifestation video, which is taking the time to heal and do shadow work. And if you can't afford it, go to therapy, sort out the things that may be troubling you, unpack some trauma, um, unpack the parts of yourself that feels like you need to control and manipulate and move things around in your life to get certain outcomes. That was my second tip or my second bit about what I feel like manifesting your dream partner or anything in general, I should say should not look like. The third one that I think is 
indicative that this is not the right way to go about it and it's not what mani manifesting your partner looks like is essentially wanting what is for someone else. What I mean by this is, are you desiring to create your own love story or are you desiring to be a part of someone else's love story or replacing someone in their particular love story? To make it plain, do you want somebody else's man or woman? Is your desire to be in the place of someone else? If that is your desire, you are not going down the road of manifesting your dream partner. And once again, things like this can be dangerous. Things like this push you further away from actually doing what you want, which is getting to the person that God has for you, right? So very quick story time. This is gonna sound crazy, but I had a friend who desperately wanted Big Sean. So much so that she had went to a meet and greet and she felt like during that meet and greet, they had an insane connection. And from that point on, she was convinced that he was her soulmate and he was who she was destined to be with. So much so that even when him and Janae Aiko became an item and continued to grow their relationship, she was convinced in her mind that he still very much so wanted her and that he was finding subtle ways because he was such a huge celebrity and she was considered a normal everyday civilian that he was trying to find subtle ways to connect with her and anytime Janae Aigo made any remarks that could have come off as like subliminal posts in regards to Big Sean or their relationship that were negative she was under the impression that Janae Aiko was jealous of her because she believed in her heart of hearts that Big Sean's ultimate goal was for them to reunite and be together. And Janae Aiko was simply a placeholder. Once again, I know this story sounds crazy, but this is a primary example of wanting something someone else has, wanting to insert yourself in someone else's love story. And when you get to the point where you are so convinced that you deserve to be with a person more than the person that they themselves have chosen, once again, it becomes dangerous. Not only are you pushing yourself further and further away from who God truly has for you, but you are now allowing certain spirits to take you down an obsessive and unhealthy path. And for some, a conversation like this could be a little weird because I'm talking about spirits and spirituality and God and the devil, but I do feel like our mental health, our mental state and our well-being is interconnected with our spirituality. And just as we have therapists and we are fully aware of the psycholo of psychology and aware of the mind and the science behind it, that there is also a spiritual component to it. If things aren't attached to God, as Stephanie Ike once said, if it's not attached to God, it's attached to something else. And it's likely attached to another spirit. A spirit of the enemy, someone trying to do his dirty work, you know? When you find yourself obsessing over someone that's not yours, that's already taken, that's already committed, you are going down a very unhealthy road. And once again, you are pushing yourself further away from what you truly desire, which is that person that was made for you, that person that is divinely connected to you. And probably just as, as eager and willing and wanting to meet with you, connect with you, to become one with you. So yeah, let's not do that. Everything that we need is already here. So much so that your person is out there and your person isn't someone else's. If there's someone else's, there's someone else. Or I'll say this, if your person is with someone else right now, it's for a reason. And when they meet you, they won't be attached to anybody. They would have gone through whatever season that was. They would have gained whatever they needed to gain 
and taken away whatever lessons they needed to take away before encountering you. So you don't have to shake up anybody's relationship to be with the person that is for you. Once again, if you are focusing on your own personal healing, your self-improvement, if you are working on strengthening that relationship with God in your discernment, you will be at a place where these aren't things that you are seeking anyway. And so you'll be moving along the path that gets you to your person in a healthy way. Next up is being low vibrational. And what I mean by that is if you are in that negative space, I talked about in my last video how there was a point following my previous relationship where I was just kind of in this really dark space where I was just like, you know what, F love, I don't want it. I'm just gonna be that rich auntie. I don't even wanna put myself out there anymore. Like I'm just over it. I was really pessimistic about the idea of finding a healthy love. And when you are in that space, uh, when you're feeling resentful, when you're feeling really negative about the idea of love, companionship, of finding your person, your outcomes will resemble that. The results of your love life, dating life, will reflect those negative feelings you have. If you are also looking at other people's relationships and you are jealous, you once again are wanting what someone else has, or you are feeling like a person doesn't deserve it, like you are more deserving of love, of marriage, of children, of whatever, than somebody else is, that's operating from a low vibrational space. And once again, you will reap in return that same type of energy, whether it is encountering people who also have a negative outlook on love and relationships. So they may be emotionally unavailable. They may be people who don't take you seriously, people who play with your heart, people who mistreat you, your dating life and love life could very well reflect those same inner feelings that you have. So what could your relationships start looking like? You may be putting yourself out there. You may still be wanting love deep down, but those relationships will end up looking just unhealthy, disrespectful, you name it. Your relationships will reflect those inner feelings you have. So what do you do? Once again, work on the healing relationship with God, just being the best version of yourself. And in return, from operating at that higher vibration, you will then start to reap relationships, whether it's familial, friendship, or that relationship, a much healthier relationship. And that can look like a relationship that's easy, that feels natural, that's fulfilling, that is filled with love and true commitment. It's enjoyable. It reflects those good feelings that you've brought about, those feelings that you have about yourself, the outlook that you have on the world. It will reflect in the relationship that you manifest. And so what are things that you could easily switch up and practice that can help you be on a higher vibration just have better energy. Practicing gratitude. That was something that was such a game changer for me. Simply being grateful of what I have, no matter how much I aspired for more, just being grateful in the present. So that's every day, thanking God for the things that you have around you, for your ability to eat, for the fact that you have a roof over your head, for the fact that you are able-bodied, for the fact that you have people that you can call friends, family, that you can call on, that you can talk to, for having a job. The simple things, just practicing gratitude every day. That's a great way to improve your feelings about self. Like, honestly, when you just start like thanking God for the simplest of things, you realize just how blessed you are. And when you practice gratitude, God blesses you even more. Also being kind, right? Once again, you get back what you put out. Being kind, being more empathetic, that goes a long way. And I'm not saying faking it, I mean genuinely doing and being those things. It goes such a long way. So those are things that you can do to improve your energy. Being happy for people, you know? Being truly happy for people, even if you don't have it yet, right? Instead of looking at someone and saying, ah, oh, why don't I have this yet? Looking at them and saying, God is so good. 
I'm so glad they have that. Instead of framing it in the sense of why don't I have that yet? Why do they have it and I don't? Think positively. Be happy that they have it. And think to yourself, God, I see what you're doing for them. And I'm so excited to see what you can do for me one day. I'm so thankful that you could show me an example of what your love looks like, of what your favor looks like on a person, of what your blessings look like. And I thank you for what you've given me now. And I look forward to all the things that you plan to give me, all the doors that you plan to take me through. Be grateful, practice gratitude, be happy for others and not hateful and look how your life transforms. All right, I have two more and then I'm gonna get out of here. Next up on the list, manifesting your partner, your dream partner, your dream man, your dream woman is not focusing on the end goal of a relationship or marriage. It, it's just not because that's different, right? It's one thing to manifest your partner. It's another thing to manifest marriage. It's another thing to manifest a relationship. It's another thing to manifest meeting a deadline. It's one thing to say, God, whenever you are willing and ready, I am so excited to meet my dream partner. I'm not gonna stress over it. I'm not going to be obsessing over a specific date and time, a place. I am just opening myself, my heart to whenever you choose to bring them to me. When you start putting deadlines on things like, I need to be married before 30, I'm now over 25, I'm in my career, I have my stuff together, I need to be in a relationship right now. That's when, once again, you start veering off the path of getting to your person because you're going back to manipulating your situation and circumstance so that you can get to whatever your desired end is. And sometimes you are saying you want your desired end to be that person, your person. But what you're doing is bringing about a particular end goal that is not that. It may get you in a relationship real fast. It may get you married, but it, and it may have you meeting that deadline of being married by 30 or 25 or whatever the age may be, but it's not the same thing as getting you to your person. So you have to be very careful about not focusing on the end goal of marriage, the end goal of meeting a particular deadline and focus on letting God bring your person to you whenever he is ready, whenever it is time. And I'm thinking about Risa Tisa, for example. She wanted marriage so badly that she let a whole compulsive liar into her life. That man turned her life upside down very quickly. And sometimes I wonder if she would have focused more on just opening herself up to God doing what he does and continuing to focus on her own personal healing, improving herself, if she could have avoided that altogether. This is not to rag on her at all. I think we all have our personal journeys and sometimes it means taking the rough way, taking the difficult trail to your destination. But I'm just saying this to say that God always gives us a choice. We are given the ability to choose. And that means you have the choice to take the easy path of just trusting God and just showing up as your best self every day and trusting that in doing so, God will do what is best for you and give you the desires of your heart. Or you could take the difficult route, which is once again, controlling, forcing things to fit, which is my very last point. Manifesting your dream partner does not look like forcing things to fit. That does not mean meeting someone who does not want the same things as you, does not have the same things in common, but still saying, because I like this person, because I like these three things about this person, or because this person looks exactly like how I want, I'm gonna make sure this is my partner. That's not truly manifesting your dream partner. Also, if you have to become someone you're not in order to be with the person, you have not manifested your dream partner. That's not what it looks like. Don't get me wrong. We all should be aiming to continue to grow and evolve in life and be better. But having to morph yourself into, some, into someone completely different 
to be pleasing the eyes of someone, that is not real love, that is not real partnership, and that is not manifesting your dream partner. So take heed to these things. And if you have found yourself doing any of these things, it's okay. It's absolutely okay. Just know now that that just means you gotta dig a little deeper, you gotta unpack a little more and figure out what it is that is causing you to make these decisions. Once again, go to God in prayer. If you can afford a therapist, go to therapy. Go to therapy. And if you are one of those believers, and I say believers because I don't want to limit this to a particular religion, whether you call him God or whether you call him Allah. If you are a believer in the most high, then I hope you know he created therapists. So if you are one of those believers who feels like therapy is taboo, it's not. But that's another topic. This could very well be a disputable matter. Disputable matter meaning to some people, they feel like it's off limits. And if that's your jam, I completely understand. But if you are open to therapy, I 10 out of 10 recommend it. It's always nice to be able to seek counsel, to be able to gain clarity and healthily unpack some of the things that you have going on. Healthily heal parts of yourself so that you can operate from a better space, from a higher vibration, being kinder, being wiser, being more empathetic, having better discernment. When you operate from your best and highest self, you manifest the best things. You have the ability to encounter some of the best people for you. You do also have the ability to manifest people who may try to come after you, take what you have and harm you. But once again, when you're operating from that space, from that high vibration, you have the discernment to know that this person is someone that I need to be careful of. I need to guard my heart around. I can still be kind, but I can keep my distance too. So yeah, I hope this video was helpful. If you've gotten to the end, thank you so much, so, 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 so much for watching. And if this is the content that you wanna see on my channel, please let me know. Tell me what else you wanna see in the comments below. You know, like I'm really trying to lean into what my purpose is on this, on this platform. I've still been trying to figure it out. I know what I enjoy talking about, but I also see what the algorithm pushes to people and what people tend to watch. And this manifestation video was one of those things. And if you want to hear more in this realm or hear more life tips or love tips, please let me know. As usual, thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.